Hello friends, this is Lady Flora and I found some acorns today and I realized I never actually talked about acorns um, before so I wanted to show them to you. These are the kind of acorns that we get in Florida. They're pretty small, quite small. Every time I've been up north, which would be like North Carolina or South Carolina even, the uh, acorns are much larger up there. But here they don't get much bigger than this and um, of course they're very smooth this camera there it is they have these very smooth like tops that look a little like drums and then if you're lucky you can play with the caps put little hats on them oh i got a chunky little cap on and of course, squirrels like to eat them. And um, in Florida, we all walk around barefoot. And it's pretty awful to step on one of these barefoot. Um, it's just enough to drive you to wear shoes. <laughs> but they make a really lovely crunching sound when you do step on them. I wonder if you could hear that. <laughs> but it's kind of a satisfying sound if you are wearing shoes. And uh, acorns actually are edible. Um, okay, that one's not edible. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not really finding a good example, but um, when you crack them open and they have this usually like a yellowy, orangey, cheese, cheesy looking center, um, that is like the acorn meat or whatever and it's, um, I used to call it cheese when I was little because that's what it looked like to me, like cheddar cheese. doesn't taste like cheese though. Not that I know, I've never actually tasted it, but you can boil it, and apparently you have to boil it a lot um, and get rid of the bitterness, because apparently it's very, very bitter. And then after you boil it, you kind of let it dry and it becomes like a flour, and you can use it in bread and stuff like that. So I've never tried it, um, like I said. But, apparently it can be done. Let me see if I can. So yeah, this part, apparently. Oh, there we go. Apparently you can. But with any of these things, anytime you watch one of my videos and I'm telling you that something is edible, Please do some extra homework, some extra research. Try to get at least three sources of information confirming that something is edible before you actually eat it. Um, you really don't want to mess around and you don't want to misidentify something. Um, and you don't want to take my word for it. I mean, I've never even eaten an acorn before, so um, I'm just fascinated at all the different wild edibles that surround us. and. Uh, and I think it's amazing and very eye-opening, um, especially when you think of clover and pennywort and all these amazing things that grow in our yard and we just kill them because we're like, oh, it's a weed. I don't want weeds in my yard, but it's like, it's a food source. It's delicious. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's there for us to eat. So don't put pesticides on it and kill it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I make a video nature vlog diary thing five times a week because I believe that connecting with nature can have positive impact on your life. I know it has have had a positive impact on my life. So if you're new here, I would love to have you comment, like, subscribe, share, and then after you do that, go outside and have a sublime day.